guys welcome back to my channel today I am showing you what I purchased from Trader Joe's I went to Trader Joe's yesterday um and then I actually got caught up we bumped into one of my daughter's friends a little kid and the parent so we stood outside for a little bit and I just like literally came upstairs and just put everything away but I just like took it out now just to show you guys because when it comes to Trader Joe's, I love Trader Joe's. So I just want to show you what I got from there. Okay, so I'm going to start with the cold stuff so I can put it away ASAP. So FYI, I only the only produce I bought from there is the bag of avocados. Because like all of the, like these four cost $4, like $3, something like that. And like two of them cost that price now. Um, I also got... It was more bananas, but between yesterday and today, like, we ate them here. Um, we love bananas, so, yeah. So then I got these frozen blueberries. I normally put in my protein shakes. And this I like to just, um, add to, like, my rice. Or quinoa, or something like that. This is amazing. This is coconut milk ice cream. And I am dairy-free. I do not consume dairy. Or, or you know, I try not to consume it and this tastes so good savvy don't touch wait mommy wait you want one yeah. yes okay she loves these hold on you. you're welcome baby okay so i bought two bags of quinoa um i don't live near my trader joe's so i try to like get like two of certain things that i love so anyway as you know i don't eat meat and quinoa is really high in protein it is six grams of protein for one fourth cup. So yeah, I got two packs of quinoa and a little goes a long way. And this is like a protein substitute as well. For one half cup of edamame, you get nine grams of protein. So I got this, it's frozen. Okay, so the other stuff I got is these bag, this bag of peanuts. It's roasted, unsalted, and this is just a good snack to enjoy. And yep, they also sell they also sell these in salted and stuff like that. But I try to stay low on my salt. Speaking of peanuts, I love Trader Joe's peanut butter. So I get this one from Trader Joe's. This will not last long in my house between me and my daughter. But this is just to have now. I get these yellow red bell peppers because for last minute salads and stuff like this where you don't want to like chop up a pepper and cook it this works great um also I love these black beans because these are like guilt free oh man I was supposed to buy the organic one my daughter was acting a little cranky around this aisle but oh man I bought the wrong ones either way this is so good. Great source of protein is black beans and the great source of fiber. Now, um, these are the coconut products that I love from Trader Joe's. So it's obviously all the same type of thing. This is what I make like when I used to make chicken. This is what I sprayed my pan with. But now I just use it for my eggs. And it, you can actually taste a hint of coconut oil. That's what makes this feel like I'm actually, like it's actually made with coconut oil. Because if you use like the Pam one, it doesn't taste like coconut oil at all. Anyway, I love this one as well. I swear I just think I said I love like every product. Anyway, I have one that I use for my hair and my face. So this is the one I'm going to use for my food. Um, and I also like the packet one. This one's I didn't buy it this time around. I bought it last time around. But I just wanted to show you guys that I love these as well. Like for on the go. It's like in individual packets. So say if you're going out, you need this to move, move your makeup or something. It's nice packaged. I like this as well. And what I noticed the difference about these two is if you consume a lot of coconut oil, like this is fine. But if you don't use it over time, it gets like stale, I feel. Like there's a different taste. These always... Are fresh when they're individually packaged so hold, here baby here you go 
do. Yeah, welcome. So, and I love this organic brown sugar barbecue sauce and marinade. I bought two. And they, like, I have, like, three barbecue sauces that I absolutely love from here. And I know what you guys are thinking. Hey, Damaris, why you buy barbecue sauce and you do not eat meat? Well, I actually put this in my rice. I'll put it in my quinoa. I love the taste of barbecue sauce. And this actually tastes really good. So, yep, that's for that. So these are the things that I really bought for my daughter. But anyone's welcome to eat it because this is not baby food. But... I, I like these breakfast bars that they have here and this is an unsweetened organic applesauce she loves applesauce and these are Lara bars I used to eat these more frequently but I choose to make my own granola bars but I do give these to my daughter on a you know like on a whim when she's hungry like as if you notice I don't know if you heard earlier but while I was filming she was asking for it because she saw it on the counter and it's completely healthy for you. Um, this one is literally made with cashews and dates. That's it. Only two ingredients. And lastly, I get these like little pouches. She ate like three of them in the store. But these are her pouches that she likes. They're called fruit sauce crushers, apple and banana. And she absolutely loves these as well. But she needs like three just to get full. So I don't rely on these. But it's a good, nice snack for her. And yeah. Before I let you guys go, I just want to show you two items that I picked up from Costco. I actually went shopping at Costco, but everything I pretty much purchased was in my last um, Costco haul, which I will link down below. But I picked up these two other products that I absolutely love. And this one is pressed by Kind, and it's so delicious. My daughter and myself love these. These are nine and nine of these. And also, I get my green tea from there. I do like that you can brew it in hot or cold. Because I normally brew it in hot first and then pour cold water. Because I do like my green tea at room temperature. It's a blend of like matcha. It's, it's pretty good. There's no aftertaste. It tastes legit. So, yeah. I think that's about it. Yeah. I'm trying, I'm trying to think. Make sure I got everything. So yeah, by the way, I spent, um, I think it was like $77 at Trader Joe's and that's like everything I've purchased, which is really not that bad because I don't go there often. That's why I kind of buy like triple or double of like a lot of things. And if you notice, I did not get any produce from Trader Joe's except the banana and the, the avocado. I live walking distance from a farmer's market. And I like to get that on a continuous basis. I don't like to really buy it in bulk. The only thing I bought in bulk was like strawberries from Costco. And you know, we just like snack on that throughout the days. And when we when that runs out, we'll go to like the farmer's market, get oranges, get apples, and get things like that. So I try not to buy it in bulk because it's it really doesn't matter. I'd rather buy it fresh. So there you have it. I hope that you guys enjoy my Trader Joe's haul. And yeah, if you guys want to see my Costco haul, and the only thing different, I believe, is the chicken. I don't buy the produce, the um, produce, the produce. I don't buy the Purdue chicken anymore because, as you know, I'm plant based. I do not eat meat. And yeah, so I'll link that below and let me know what you guys think. So I hope you enjoy this video and like if you like and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Bye. Boop. I'm so in love with